Hey guys, welcome to Destiny. Yes, I bought this game. It's not technically an RPG game, but it's some kind of an MMO first person shooter. Very peculiar game. I'm not a fan of shooter games at all, but I decided to buy this and see how this goes. Well, so far it's going good. I like the game a lot. And this will be a gameplay and first impression video. Uh, let's get going. So this is my ship. You go here on your screen, you choose your things you can uh, equip and stuff. Also, some of these, as you can see, items have some kind of bonus things you can... Uh, Bonus things that upgrade your guardian, for example, increase melee attack speed. So this is your inventory screen. Game is very simple. There is not much to it. I mean, there are a couple of things how to that you would probably need to know. And I will do these types of videos later on. On the... On the channel, so don't, you don't have to worry about that. I'll help you out, guys. And so far, I don't know what this is. This is a story mission, is it not? Yes. Let's go to it. Let's complete one story mission for you guys so that you can see the gameplay. I will talk also about the positives and negatives about the game so far that I've encountered, but this is mainly a first impression. An old warlock, Osiris. Every end crawls from the same pit. Rising from the schism to swallow matter, light, and life. It will not be stopped, but here it can be slowed. The shrines of Oryx must be destroyed. One of the most there beautiful things. Here. It's definitely it's the progression system, how anyway, you unlock different we should try to destroy it before it's too late. Different um, abilities for your guardian. And also at level 15 you get a subclass. I don't know what's this. There's another subclass, I don't have that. So I'm not quite familiar with all the mechanics yet. Now the thing is that uh, I certainly don't know yet how this works because there are a lot more skills than there are levels. I really don't know how that works. Maybe you can respect and choose particular things that you want to level up. I'm not sure, but here are some of the things upgrades double jump, double jump, some of the basic mechanics here you get here you get so basically, uh, leveling to level 20, getting to that point, uh, is considered to be a must. Because at level 20 you, you will have the end game, you will have the... Um, you will have the PvP. I mean, you can also go PvP now, you will scale up, everyone scales at the same level there. But the problem is that they have more skills if they are higher level and they have better weapons. Which definitely affects the situation there. A couple of different weapon types you can have. This is pulse rifle. Melee attacks are very powerful. I love that. I love using melee. But these guys are fairly under leveled. I'm almost double the level. Yeah, I am actually. Double the level. So this shouldn't be that problematic. I can use double jump to avoid my enemy's attacks. I can use throwing knife on R1. R1, you can see that. Uh, weapons are divided into three basic categories: primary, secondary, uh, primary, special, and heavy. For example, primary is this one that I have right now, pulse rifle, and it is divided into a couple of categories like scout rifle, uh, pulse rifle, hand cannon. What else? couple of more. Special weapons are divided into categories like sniper rifle, shotgun. I think these are, those are basically it. Oh yeah, infusion rifles. Rifles that load up and then do massive damage. Uh, 
Also, heavy weapons that you can have are rocket launchers and light machine guns. I've chosen a rocket launcher. I'm picking up fallen activity. Heavier than normal. Something's got them worked up. I'll stay on it. And the voiceover for this ghost little hovering thing next to you is done by Peter Dinklage. That's the guy giving oh, voice to Tyrion. They're invading the Hellmouth. In Game of Thrones. Very famous. Hector. Okay, uh, occasionally you will see fighting uh, these drags and others fighting acolytes and your other enemy. So basically, enemy of your enemy is your friend. No, it's not. You need to kill them all. Simple as that. Also, when you get supercharged, you will have your special move. It takes a while before you can overcharge and do it again. But I will show you now. You do massive damage for a short period of time. Also, there are a couple of boosts you can... There are a couple of boosts you can uh, get for that by simply upgrading your character the way you want it to. Okay, one thing that I don't like about the game that is totally inappropriate is this arrow that shows direction from which you're being attacked. It doesn't make sense. It's completely 3D. It it sucks. It doesn't. It isn't showing properly the way from which you're being attacked. It's one of the little things about the game. Also, what I don't like are the respawn times and respawns. Everyone is respawning at the same freaking location over and over and over again and it's kinda annoying. That is most mostly true in patrol missions. I will show you maybe after this story mission a patrol mission. It is a sandbox mode where you do all kinds of little missions and, uh, not related to story in any way. That way you level your character get additional experience oh shit these wizards are very very tough opponents you can see by the damage they do to me but sniper rifle will deal with that I'm not the best player at shooters I, my aiming sucks with controller not know why I, I never could gotten used to that I'm very usually very good with aiming with mouse and keyboard fantastic actually but this if I translated these fallen completely different story one of their barons is here they don't crawl out of their skiffs too often sounds like an opportunity oh here we go Invisible ones. These guys, if they come near you, you'll, you're fucked. These are some kind of grenades, upgraded grenades. These are mostly like traps. And now you will see a Baron. Bam! Nice. These are some kind of bosses. That you can solo because, well, this is story mode, so you don't have to worry about getting fire team, getting fire team at your disposal or anything like that. Because they are made to be soloable. Of course, some of you might have trouble with it. That's okay. There are a couple of really tough missions in the game. Oh shit! Oh my god, I'm dead. Oh crap! Whoa! Oh! Did I get him? Nope. Now I did. Nice. Oof! This was fucking close. That's one less Baron to worry about. Let's Good. How many more are there? As you can see, special. I mean, special ammo is very low and very scarce. Heavy even less.
you have to really choose your timing uh, when you want to use it, especially in strike missions. Bosses there are really tough. And when I say tough, I mean they have a lots of health and you will lose all your special and heavy ammo on them. There's no doubt about it. We'll never explore them all. Overall game looks really good now and the PvP is very much fun. Uh, well, you can't expect less from developers of Halo, although I never liked Halo I series, don't, don't know why. To know what they're keeping down there. Yeah, this looks pretty interesting location. Circle of Bones. Basically, in in patrol mode, you get this all this whole location, and you can move through it the whole planet and uh, do whatever mission you want. I will not be able to do it in this video because this video is long as it is. It's going to take me a lot to upload it. Due to my very slow internet connection speed. Knights, knights are pain in the ass. They deal a lot of damage and have significant, significantly tougher defense than others. Good thing is I'm over leveled for them. I love this throwing knife. Oh uh, yeah, by the way I'm playing Hunter class. Don't know if I said that earlier. These bitches are annoying. But you can Melee all of them when they come close, so you don't have to worry about that too much. Unless there, there's too many of them. Oh, I thought that was a knight. It's only an acolyte. Well, it was an acolyte. Melee attacks are fantastic. They are really powerful and I like using them a lot. Holy shit. Some action coming down, guys. Oh no, wizard. I hate wizards. Nice, crit. Headshot. Headshots are always a crit. Oh yeah, one more thing that I don't like about the game is that the enemies are mostly the same. All the time. It really gets annoying fighting all the same ones. Okay, bosses are, can be different, but that's about it. Even the ships are shooting at you. Oh crap, I missed with my knife. Knife is actually a very powerful weapon. Okay, this weapon is fantastic that I'm using right now. It's an uncommon weapon that can be upgraded. Green weapons and rare weapons can be upgraded. Which means you can unlock certain features that they possess. Normal white weapons have nothing in that matter. That's why it's always better to have some kind of uncommon weapon at your disposal because there are you'll need all the help you can get, especially if you like soloing. I like playing solo a lot. But the game is more fun in fire teams, that's 100% true. Unfortunately I don't have any friends on PSN, I have one maybe. I haven't played PlayStation in a while and if you guys want to join me, my... I will post my PSN account in the comment section. I, w I would be really glad if some of you guys would want to join me. I'm not a bad player, I'm just a very bad aimer. I actually had some really nice PvP battles as well. Unfortunately, some of them were also very bad. It depends mostly if I'm concentrated enough or not. It depends on my teammates and everything. And now we are entering the darkness zone. Darkness zone is where res respawning is restricted, which means if you fail, you're going to have to do it all over again. As we are. 
unless you reach a checkpoint uh, that point if you got past the checkpoint then you're going to continue from that checkpoint nice upgrade unlocked I love that throwing I fucking love it let's get rid of the knight as you can see they are battling themselves which is always a welcomed addition at least someone can tank some damage and now I can just go here and unlock did unlock? yeah I unlock for this and I can just unlock uh, the upgrade and now this pulse rifle is much more significant in battles because pulse rifles have the lowest damage but they have the highest um, highest rate of fire something like SMGs I, you all know pulse rifle you all most of you probably watched movie alien it's a legendary rifle whoa you can see motion tracker in your top left corner it will show you where your enemies are moving from what direction where you can expect to be ganked can't wait for my level 15 subclass unlock Come on, Nighty. Nice. See that? I think he is. Expecting a wizard here. There he is. Well, that's what I was telling. Even if you revisit the location, the enemies will be the same at the same places. Nothing new will come from it. And it's kinda annoying. Always thought of respawning as just a lack of imagination and pure laziness on developer's part. I don't like it. I never liked it. So the game that I could definitely compare this to most from what I've played is Warframe. I don't know if you play this game, it's a free to play, pretty fun game. Uh, it has definitely more depth than Destiny, a lot more depth and it's from third person. Sometimes you can actually have third person perspective in here if you're driving a vehicle. You can have some kind of uh, Star Wars bikes and ride them. To reach your destination faster. Oh shit, he's alive. And in the in the tower on the safe zone, you're safe from uh, uh, you're actually in the third person. It's very cool, and that way you can see a bit of your character, how it looks like, and everything. You can see that the loot is scarce as well. Not many lootable things and that is a minus in my opinion because you cannot combine a lot of things that you want especially before level 20. At level 20 you can have lots of choices then but beyond that, before that it's simply hard to find anything anything of choice because There's you'll be time. forced to use the find best the at the at that time <laughs> fucked double jump is the most useful mechanic to evade stuff So yeah, I was comparing this to Warframe. Why? Well, Warframe seems to have similar mechanics shooting, 
wise, actually similar mechanics everything wise because it also has a melee attack, it has a couple of different weapons you can wield, it has powers and everything. It's a very fun game, especially later on when you unlock more warframes and everything. Um, it doesn't have sandbox mode like patrol mode in the Destiny. And it kind of gets boring after a while because of all the waves that you're constantly dealing with. Oh shit! But other than that, really fun game. If you haven't checked it out, definitely check it out. Ogre, his big head is a vulnerability. But that big head deals a lot of damage if it hits you. So you gotta be extremely careful how you play that off. Got it. No bomb for you. Nice one. Doing some nice things here. I'm going to save my supercharge. Oh shit. This is a... What the fuck? No, you did not disconnect right now. No, you did not fucking disconnect. You fucking... Fucking piece of shit. Motherfucker. Oh my fucking god. Well, it's okay, I don't have to There's go all the, the way back. Find a way or do I? Ah, oh, shit, I need to do this all over again. Well, you can see what happens if you die in darkness area. My controller ran out of batteries. Because I've been playing a lot recently. Ah, oh, shit. So who would win? Acolytes or Gregs? Dregs? Whatever the name... Whatever the fuck their name is. I don't know. I think Acolytes are far more superior. Especially those Vandals. They have some armor that is tough to breach. Especially in melee combat. And they are definitely the most annoying enemy that I've faced. Triple melee kill! Something is coming my way. Here it is. Easy close range kill. Well, seems like it's not... Ah, there you are. Okay, uh, in between missions you can go to tower where you can identify some weapons that are uh, that are unknown mostly uncommon and rares they all need identifying a lot of gear that you can unlock at level 20 there are a couple of vendors where you can buy some items but there, it's usually very scarce and as i said it depends really what level it is and that's it you just need to check out the level otherwise it doesn't matter you can't really choose what looks more decent or what you would prefer and everything because at those vendors is a really really weak choice of weapons and armor so you're forced to use what they have to sell if you want it if you don't have anything better strikes give better equipment not that much better because well you're going to need a lot of a uh, lot of time to do a strike and you're going to need a decent team with you but it's fun it's definitely fun whoa what the hell is this one down two down three down let's continue or not okay i'm not going to waste any more special ammunition i really need it because there's going to be, I'm guessing, some kind of boss here. Let me out under the shrine. I'll look for a weakness. Oh god, so he... He will now uh, try to probably... Search for weakness or something while I have to defend him. It's always the same crap. Very unimaginative. 
it's tethered to a power far beyond the edge of the system. And of course, way to break the waves incoming. Here we go. Let's just hope we don't get sucked into some transdimensional vortex. I just hope you hurry up. Kill the knight. Oh yeah, oh my fucking god, what the hell is that? Motherfucker is immune. Oh, only head. Okay. Jesus Christ, it's a huge motherfucker. Well, at least he has a huge bloody head. Shit, now I'm stuck. No! Oh god. It's not enough that I have to battle a freaking giant. But I have to deal with these motherfuckers in melee as well. What's happening? Why am I... What's with the picture? Something in game, guys. Not, not up to me. I swear. Oh shit. Horrible miss. And another horrible miss. My anticipation sucks. No, what's happening? Fucking cunt. Get away from me. Oh, why am I busting my balls when I have this? There we go. Easy. This is some kind of fight in consumable that I can use. It's weakened. Destroy it. Nice. So we've destroyed the temple and mission will end now. Yep. That would be it guys for Destiny, I hope you liked this video, I'm hoping I gave you an accurate description of what we're dealing with here and with the mechanics of the game. Uh, I will do a lot of how-to videos for Destiny, if you have some kind of questions be sure to ask them in comments, I will do a video about everything you need and want to know, but I need to play it a lot more first to see what what it's all up to and um, see you guys in one of the next parts cheers